everyone and welcome back to my channel um i want to say very big thank you to all of my subscribers my new subscribers and my old subscribers if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like my video share my video and do not hesitate to subscribe and subscribe actually if you actually find this video helpful please i'm pretty please um hit on the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell and please do not forget to drop a comment down below actually liking this video actually makes me to know you appreciate what i do so that is the whole essence of you liking this video today actually i'm going to be teaching you how to cut a six pieces skirt as you can see what i'm putting on now this is a six pieces skirt you can see how it is this is a six pieces skirt that is what i'm actually going to be teaching you how to cut you can see how beautiful it looks on my body how beautiful it looks on my body that is what i'm actually going to be teaching you how to cut today i'm going to be teaching you how i'm actually going to be using a draft i'm actually going to be drafting it it's going to be very easy and simple so now let's go to my working table okay so welcome back guys in um making a six pieces skirt the first thing that we are going to be dealing with is the middle piece because for a six pieces skirt you can actually see the skirt the front part is divided into three you can see one this is the first piece and then this is the mid piece and then this is the other one that's we have one two three then at the back also we have one two three but the back is divided into two at the middle because of the zipper allowance i'll explain as I go along. So, in drafting a six pieces skirt, we're gonna be dealing with the middle first. So, I've made out some the possible lines for you to actually illustrate it to you to make it clearer. The first thing this is the waist line, which is the top part of your skirt, and then this is the hip line. So, between the, the waist and the hip is usually between the waist and the hip is usually 10 inches. So for you to know actually where to insert your hip measurement is usually between six inches and from the waist this is six inches and then this is nine you can use 10 inches for somebody that is very that is tall you can use 10 inches so it's usually between six this is six inches and then this is 10 inches so this mid point this is actually where you insert your hip measurement when you do this you can never go wrong in any of your skirts this is like standard measurement then the knee between the knee between the waist and the knee measurement you can actually measure but usually it's actually between 17 and 18 inches so that is like standard measurement and then the full length of your skirt and then you measure the full length of your skirt so the first thing that i'm going to be doing now is my own standard that that i've been using this is other people they use it also for the mid piece of my skirt i'm actually going to be using for the top part i'm actually going to be making use of eight inches i'll, I'll be making use of eight inches for this mid piece and so when you divide it eight inches in total you actually have four inch so from the waist point you just take your tape like this and then you measure that's standard you measure this is four inches i just mark it like this four inches and then i'll come to this to the hip line four inches four inches and then when i get to the knee line four inches so when I get to the mid the, to the knee line, I measure another four inches and then I stop. And then when it comes to the down part of your skirt, the down part of your skirt actually determines how wide and how full you actually want your six pieces skirt to be. For most times, what I normally do for my skirt, like you can see, like I showed you in the, the beginning part of the opening of this video, I normally use 10 inches at the down. You can actually use 12 if you want it to be very full. You can use 12. But for this draft, I'm actually going to be making use of 10 inches. So I'll take my tape like this and measure full 10 inches. With 10 inches, when you open, you're going to be having 20 inches. So I'll take it like this. I'll measure... 10 inches here which is 20 inches you notice the first one i told you eight but i was using four four because when you divide four eight into two you have four inches so that is the essence but for the down i'm actually using 20 inches so when you divide into two you have uh, 10 inches so that's the essence like i said i said you can make use of 12 if you want it to be very full you can make use of 12 you are still safe and good to go 
So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm actually going to be connecting my lines. I'll connect the lines like this, from here down like this. And when I get to the knee point, and then I'll now make a slant down to my 10 inches. So I'll just take my rule like this, and then just rule... So when I get to this point, to the knee point, I'll just take my, my ruler like this and then slant it to meet up with the 10 inches that I did. So this is this is for the midpoint. This is for the midpoint. Then for the for the back piece, okay. Before I go to the back, let me just cut it out and then place. the mid piece of the skirt you can see how beautiful it is looking already so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be placing this piece of draft on the other the other part of my paper of my pattern paper so now what i'm going to be doing the easiest way for you to do this about this because this six piece skirt is about one of the easiest easiest way ever so I'll take it like this and then place, you can see from this mid point of it, that is the side of the middle piece. I'll just take it like this and place it here. So I'm actually going to be using a paper tape to secure it. Just take it like this and then place on the other part of my pattern paper. Make sure the lines are on the same side. I'm actually going to be drawing that line. So for this down part, I'll just put it like this and then secure like this. And then for this midpoint like this, I'll secure. Make sure the lines are accurate. And then secure. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm just going to be following this line and then measuring out this part straight out. And before you do this, you always make sure that you have enough fabric on this side before you actually measure out, before you actually cut out. So the other easiest way for you to do it is for you to make sure the hip measurement of what you want the hip measurement always make sure you measure before you cut out what i actually want for my hip is actually seven and a half so i have like 11 so that means i'm secure so i can go along with it so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'll just take my my ruler like this and then draw a line like this i'll just trace it down straight just to get this curve just to get this curve out for my sketch so i'll take it like this Then for this point, when you get, you just curve it like this a bit. And then make sure you secure it. If it is a fabric, it's actually easier. So you can see the line. This is actually the line. So I'm actually going to be cutting it out. I'll take it like this the way it still is and then secure properly the essence of cutting out this part is because when you're joining when you're you, you are, you are joining it together you need those these edges you actually need the edges that's this edge which is this 
and then this mid piece this is the mid piece you actually want them to be the same so that is the essence that was why i had to trace out from this pattern i had to trace it out i had to trace the edge for the two edges to be the same so because you can't have opposite edges it will not work so that is the essence so you take it like this so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be measuring out the full measurement that is what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be measuring out the full measurement like so the waist i'm using 28 which is seven when you divide into four you have seven just mark it like this then for the hip measurement i'm actually using 30 inches so you place both together for you to get your full measurement you place together the hip measurement is 32 so i have it when you divide 32 into 4 you have 8 inches in and then for the knee and then for the down part you can actually decide to measure and then see what you have so what i have here at the down is 17 that's both both for the mid piece with the mid part and the side part so i have 17 and half so the next thing i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be drawing my hip measurement i'm gonna be connecting my lines together So I'm going to be cutting off this part. So at the end of the day, this is what I have. Because this is a draft, there are no zip, there are no allowance on this skirt because it is a draft. So this is it. So this is it. You can see this is the middle piece. And then this is the side piece. You can see the curves on the side. This is what actually gives it that full low at the down like i told you this is what this curve once you get this curve once you get this curve right you actually get the full flow of the skirt you get it once you get it right so in order to cut the, the back piece all you have to do is take you take this draft and you place on another draft and then add you add your two inches on the side for your zipper allowance that's just the difference that's just the difference like I, I was saying, let me explain for the sake of beginners. You just take it like this and then you uh, you, uh, you place on another pattern paper to cut out the back piece. And then you increase just the side by 2 inches. You use 2 inch allowance. So this is this will not be the back piece, and then this is the front piece. You cut out the same exact piece. Then for the side piece, you cut it out exactly the way it is. For the back piece, you cut out another two. So you have four pieces of this, and then you have two pieces of this. So that is how you cut a six pieces skirt. So so easy and um, straightforward. So that is it. If you don't if you have if you're actually having any question you can drop the comments down at the comment section please do not hesitate to like this video if you actually find it helpful like this video and subscribe thank you so much for watching and bye